a day of training for Nadia Nadim. The Danish player joins her teammates. After her recent move to Paris, she already feels at home. It's, it's awesome, it's great, uh, obviously a dream come true. Um, it's, it's been good and uh, the football is great. Um, I'm enjoying playing here and enjoying myself. Nadia Nadim could not have imagined reaching this point in her football career when she was younger. She was born in Afghanistan, where football is strictly forbidden by the Taliban. Her father allowed her to play in secret. He introduced us to football. He gave us our first football, but um, we used to play um, in our backyard. He was killed by the Taliban when they gained power in the country. Um, and yeah, that's where we, uh, my mom, um, and my four other sisters decided to leave the country um, and go somewhere where we could have a future. After a trying journey, Nadia Nadim and her family arrived to a refugee camp in Denmark. She joined a local football club and was immediately noticed, thanks to her extraordinary talent, by the man that would become her mentor. At that time, she was only uh, 11 years old, um, but she was many, many levels uh, better than the, the other players. You know, when you when you meet people like that, you are not in doubt that they, they're going to do great things. Her former coach was not wrong. Her career got off to a flying start in Denmark. After a move to the U.S. and a championship win in 2016, Nadia Nadim came back to Europe. She played with Manchester City last year and has now moved to Paris Saint-Germain. Nadia is now an icon in Denmark. She is the first foreigner to play with the national team. She goes over her journey in her autobiography in which she holds nothing back. She tells her story so naturally, incredible considering what she's gone through. She wants to share her story to show young female players that what they're doing is worthwhile. At 31 years old, the striker is already thinking about her retirement. Soon, she will trade in her football jersey for scrubs. Becoming a surgeon is her next challenge, which she is close to accomplishing. Only a few months of school left before changing her title